Hey, welcome to Let's Play Guitar. Today we are checking out how to play Believer by Imagine Dragons. So this is a new song that they just released and it's quite easy to play. You've got this interesting riff in the beginning and it's just a four chord song. So to play this song, you'll need a capo on the first fret. All right, that's all you need. Let's get right into the verse. The song starts with the verse and on the verse, it's this riff going on. Let's see how to play that. This is being played over three cymbal chords, A minor, F, and E major. So the first one, A minor, for the riff, you just need second fret on third string and first fret on second string. And it's just going to pick alternately on both those strings. So. Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight counts over here, come to F, and for this one, you just need third fret on fourth string and first fret on same second string. Two, three, four. Just four counts over there, alright? So first you pick fourth string, then you pick second string. So one, two, three, four. And then you come to E. So over here you just need first fret on third string and do four times over here. One, three, four. Alright, so let's take it all from the beginning. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. That's what is going on for the verse. It's actually being played for the entire song. So if you have a second guitarist, you know, they can play that part. Now let's see how to play the chords over here in case you wanna, you, know, you can just strum once over here on the verse. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. We're gonna come into the main strum pattern in the chorus, all right? So now let's see how to play the entire chords over here. You've got A minor, second fret, second fret on the fourth and third strings. First fret is on second string. Two, three, four. So F major, you've got first fret on the top string, third fret, third fret on fifth and fourth strings, second fret on third string, and first frets on bottom two strings. And then E major. Open, second fret, second fret, and first fret. Alright, now you're gonna do that for the verse and the pre-chorus. You can either play the riff or you can play the chords, and then we come to the chorus, that's when we play the strum pattern, which then you can play for the next verse and next pre-chorus as well. So let's check out how to play the chorus and how to add strum pattern in the song. So what we're doing over here is on A minor, down, down, up, down, down, up. That's the main strum pattern that you need to remember over here. Down, down, up, down, down, up. So when you're doing down strum, the first two down strums, down, down, you know, you're doing it over the upper strings over here. When you come up, you want to make sure you're doing it from the first two strings because you want to hear that first string, second string, those open notes over here, right? So, down, down, up, down, down, up, and then you just repeat the strum pattern again. So if you repeat it again, you will get down, down, up, down, down, up, repeat, down, up, down, down, up. All right, so you just played that strum pattern twice on A minor. F major, down, down, up, down, down, up. You just played once over there, right? Then you come to E major, down, down, up, down, down, up. 
That's going to be your main strum pattern. Up, down, up again. F, E major. Now what you can also add is this. So we're here, when you come to F major, you go down, down, up, down, that's all. All right, once again, down, down, up, down. Then when you switch to E major, you go up, down, up, down, up, down, up. That's all you do on E major, all right? Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you come back to down, down, up, down. That was the only variation, you know, which you can do. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Now check this out. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So again, when you're doing up, you want to make sure you're doing it on, you know, from the lower strings, the first two strings, because you want to hear that, hear those notes over there. That is basically it for the entire song. You've got, you know how to play the verse, you know how to play the pre-chorus. It's the same four chords for the chorus as well. So you're just now going to repeat the second verse, pre-chorus and the chorus. And like I said before, you can now add the strum pattern for this entire song. Now after the second chorus, you come to the bridge of the song. So let's see how to play that. Now for the bridge, we're just going to play the riff that we learned in the beginning. That's all that's happening in the bridge. Four times this chord progression and then you get back to the chorus. So I hope you liked the lesson. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care and goodbye.